So if you're in one of the counties that doesn't allow um, access to outside documents, then the FRI words for your student's choice board will not work. They might work for you to see them, but it won't work for your students because your district doesn't allow access. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to that choice board and you're actually going to delete all of the links. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you go um, to my teacher pay teacher store, go to free. And you're going to be downloading the editable sight words. And so I've made it so that way um, you have fry words that can be edited. Um, so that way you can delete, you can take out, you can do whatever you want with them. And so you're going to download that and make sure that that's in your Google Drive. Um, once that is in your Google Drive, what you're going to do is you're going to click on each one. And this is when you can actually um, copy the links. And so you go to share, copy the link, and then go back into the choice board. And what you do is you're going to click on shape. And you're going to click that square shape. You're going to make it transparent. You're going to make the line transparent. And then you're going to insert link. And then you're going to add that link in there. And so this will bring your students directly to this whenever they click on it. Um, so let's say we're doing the 200 words. You click on it. And then you click share. Copy link. Come back over here. Shapes. Do that rectangle. Click transparent. Transparent. then paste the link. Uh, now to make it a little bit easier, what you could do is you can actually take this um, and you can actually copy it. And so um, like I do control, I click it and then I click control D and it makes a copy of it. And then all I have to do is edit it. So then if I come up to my fry 300 words and I copy the link, come back over here. Then when I click on it, all I have to do is click here, get rid of that, and then paste it in. And it makes it a lot easier. Um, and so you just keep doing this for each one. Now the thing you need to make sure of in your drive is that you need to make sure that you're sharing with all of your students. And so if it says, um, make sure that they can view if you want them to view and that anyone has access. Um, you can change it to edit if you want, but then your students are gonna be able to edit it. And I don't know if you want them to be able to do that because they could delete slides and then other students can't see it. Um, so if I was you, I would just have you um, stick with the view option, but make sure it says that anyone on the internet can view these. And then your students should be good to go.